Hi, thank you for your interest in our referral agent program. I'm Frank Pepe, the owner of Sun Lovers Home South Florida, Inc. What we're looking for is someone to be a referral agent or a bird dog, as the term may be. What that means is you will locate properties that we may have an interest into buying or leasing, and you would get a percentage of our profits or somewhere between $500 and $2,000 per property, depending on the way we purchase it and the way we sell it. What we mainly look for are properties that could be vacant, properties that are in the need of repair, distressed sellers, a seller that's motivated to sell is our best seller. That would mean they have to sell because either maybe it's a house is in foreclosure, that the property is a, uh, in it for a divorce, uh, could be an estate, could be a job transfer, or many, many reasons on why the seller must sell. So those are the type of properties we're looking for. We do not deal with any condominiums so, or, or any properties that you may find that are listed with a realtor. Sometimes even properties that are listed with another investor are not of interest to us. We'd rather work directly with a seller. Properties that we would like are from in Broward County all the way north to Vero Beach area, and we do Ocean County, New Jersey. Those are our main areas of coverage right now. Again, single family homes or multifamily homes are fine. No condominiums. We do try to stay away from homes that are in a gated community with an HOA. Not doesn't mean that we're going to rule it out, but we try to stay away from it because sometimes the HOA fees are way behind or their rules make it a little more difficult. But again, we will look at them. So if you do have a home in an HOA community, definitely give it to us. We'll determine if it's something that we would want to do or not. So now you're saying, where can you find homes? Well, the easiest way is if you're driving the neighborhood, just going back and forth from work or any other drives you may do, look for homes that you see that appear to be vacant, homes that might look like they need a lot of repairs, the grass is overgrown. These are just typical signs of a homeowner that may be in distress or a property that may be vacant. What you can do, depending on a referral program that you wish to come in with, you can either just give us the address of the property and we do all the research, or what you can do is take it a step further. If you want to knock on the door and talk to the owner of the house yourself, or if it's a vacant property, sometimes going to the neighbors, finding out if the neighbors know what's going on with that home, or maybe where the, pro the owners of that property moved to. A lot of times neighbors know more than you think they would, so talking with them is a great way to get information about the house. If you see for sale by owner signs on the properties, write down the address, write down the phone number. Again, you can give it to us, or if you wish to deal with it yourself, you can phone call and find out the information about the property, and then give everything else to us, and we'll take it from there. Again, our referral program is based on three tiers. Just a name and an address, or just an address is the first tier for 10% of whatever profits are made. If you do a little bit of work, talking with the sellers, finding out more information, explaining we're real estate investors or home buyers is a good term we like to use, that we are home buyers in the neighborhood, local, um, gather that information, and then again, give it to us. And we work with you on that, and then you're at the 20% tier. 30% tier is where, where you want to come in full force, where we basically will take you by the hand and train you. Now you're going to do everything with that property, with that seller. We're going to do all the paperwork. We're going to guide you along the way, but you're going to be the one communicating directly with that seller and, and working with that property for us. You're going to assist us in the marketing of the property. If it's a property we're going to sell, you'll help us out a little bit, maybe putting a sign on for us or a lockbox on the door, something like that. So you're going to do a little bit more, but you're going to get 30% of any profit that is made on that property. And we'll discuss further how we calculate the profit. Some of our properties we take over are pre-foreclosures that the house is vacant, we're working with the seller, and we may put a tenant buyer in that property and collect a monthly occupancy fee. If so, you will get a percentage of that monthly fee each and every month. Some cases it could last for six months or a year, so every month you will get a fee, 
And then, of course, at the end, you will also get a percentage of the profits from the actual sale of the property. So, again, type of house we want, single family mainly, multifamily is fine. We don't do condos. We want to go from Broward County all the way up to Vero Beach, which is Indian River, and Ocean County, New Jersey. So anything you may have, that's what we're interested in. It's a numbers game, meaning that the more properties you furnish us with, the better chances that something's going to work. Sometimes your first or second property may be a hit, and we definitely are buying it, and the deal's working out. Sometimes it's 20 or 30 houses that you gave us leads for before one of them seems to take place. Don't get discouraged. It's something you just keep on doing and doing over and over again. Other ways of finding houses besides driving the neighborhoods. Craigslist ads, back page, uh, eBay classifieds. You could post ads on, on those sites for free saying, I buy houses, something of that nature. You know, phone number, of course, it's connected to your email address. You will get people to come to you saying, I have a house to sell. Again, a little bit of everything is the way to make it work. One of the things that I do is I actually send out an email to for sale by owners from different sites. Uh, again, the free sites Craigslist or for sale by owner. You have FSBO.com. Any of those free sites, I'll send an email saying, I'm interested in buying your house. What is the best price you will do? Something like that, you know, and then put your phone number or your email address. If you don't want to speak with anybody, just put your email address. You get a response back, you can reply back to them or forward that email to me and then I'll take it from there. Again, any things you could think of to get a property, get a motivated seller is what you need to do. Friends or families always know somebody who has to sell. Now remember, a motivated seller is someone who needs to sell. There's a reason why they want it sold now. Not just, oh, if we get our price, we'll sell. So motivation is the key here. Uh, and again, in today's economy, a lot of motivation because of job loss, behind the payments, or even underwater houses. And underwater means you owe more than the house is worth. I'll buy those type of properties. Current with the mortgage payment, but they owe more than what it's worth. There are ways that I can take over that property, keep that mortgage current, so that homeowner can move on somewhere else. Any questions, give us a call, send us an email. If you have some leads, you fill out the referral agent lead form that's on the next tab on the website. You only need to fill that out once or twice. Make sure I have all your information, your, your, your name, address, phone number, so this way I can set up a file on you. And then other leads, you, to make it easier for you, you can just send us an email. Make sure your name is on it and your phone number, and then just list the information on the properties that you're giving us. This way you can save a little time from filling out that lead form. But for the first one or two, complete the form so I have all your information. I want to be sure that I'm giving credit to where credit's due. And again, feel free to call me. I'll answer my phone seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. If you do get a voicemail, leave a message. I will get back to you. And I appreciate your help, and I look forward to working together with you.